This is the Cathcart Way Operations Center. We use this location to uh, stockpile and store. In Snohomish County, it's a temporary home for the abandoned, the derelict RVs and the rundown cars. I have a feeling that they were just using it as kind of a garbage can. This is where the county dismantles and destroys. What we can, we actually salvage for metal, take out the refrigerators, you know, some of them have uh, uh, sewage tanks, empty all that type of stuff out before we, we do process them. Dave Schoenhard is operations manager for Solid Waste, and he knows behind some of the busted and broken vehicles is a story. That's sad. I mean, it really is sad that you have people that, you know, live in conditions like that. And this week has been a busy one. The sheriff's office posted these pictures taken on 26th Place West next to homes and apartments. There was a, uh, some RVs, uh, other abandoned vehicles, and a lot of garbage. 11 tons of garbage and the vehicles are now gone. And on April 1st, the sheriff's office posted these pictures, saying for the past year, trash and needles have been a concern in this community near Alexander and 119th Street Southwest. Uh, yeah, because our house is right in the street. Victor Fasenko is relieved the RV and litter are no longer there. Oh yeah, we feel free now. Seriously, it was a big problem for this area. According to the county, the numbers for abandoned vehicles keep climbing. In 2015, there were 70 cases. The next year, the number nearly doubled. In 2017, it was 161. And last year, we had 216 abandoned vehicles on public property. Here, it means there's no running out of work. In Snohomish County, Adley Swaby, King 5 News.